So the next item on the agenda is a presentation by Haley Touchburn, and this pertains to uh, a, uh, an initiative that she's involved with, Our Horizon, which is an organization working with municipalities across Canada to pass bylaws that would require gas stations to place climate change and air pollution warning labels on their gas pump nozzles. And Haley's here to make a brief presentation to Council. Good evening, Moncton City Councillors. My name is Haley Touchburn, and I'm here to ask you to support a resolution from West Vancouver that would require gas stations to put warning labels on gas pump nozzles, warning citizens of the negative effects of burning fossil fuels. I'm not going to spend my time here today explaining climate change. It is a serious problem that can no longer be argued. However, as serious and urgent as this problem is, there has been little action to stop or slow this process. We need to commit to a more sustainable future, and to do this, we must stop being dependent on fossil fuels. Many people are already working on clean technology and sustainable solutions for us to transition to. The problem is that we are stuck in a routine and we don't feel a serious need to change that routine. What I'm proposing is a way to challenge the status quo to stimulate broader demand for alternatives to fossil fuel consumption and facilitate, facilitate a transition to a more sustainable future. A few years ago, Rob Shirky, a Toronto-based lawyer, came up with the idea of putting climate change warning labels on gas pump nozzles, like the prototypes on the screen. He founded Our Horizon, a not-for-profit organization that has traveled the country sharing this idea, and in the past few years have gained a lot of support. To explain how these stickers can help us act on climate change, I'm going to get into the psychology surrounding this idea. Climate change is a problem of no feedback. There's a delay between cause and effect. When we pump our gas, we don't see any immediate effects of climate change. We stand at the pump and nothing changes. So we don't feel that what we are doing is causing harm, but it is. These stickers build feedback by bringing the faraway effects of climate change into the here and now. They allow us to connect the dots between the cause and the effect. Climate change is also a problem of diffusion of responsibility. This is a phenomenon that people are less likely to act or feel responsible when a problem is shared by many. This occurs when it comes to fossil fuel consumption. We all contribute to this problem, so none of us feel like it's our fault. These stickers are designed to solve this problem. They locate responsibility by putting the devastating effects of climate change literally in the hand of the consumer. The point of these labels is to cause us, the consumer, to realize that we are contributing to climate change. We often blame large oil companies and pipelines for climate change, but we are the ones asking for and consuming their products. Some people may see these warning labels and decide to personally commit to lowering their carbon footprint by biking, carpooling, or using public transportation. But it is not always easy or convenient to do this. This initiative's main goal is to denormalize an action that has become acceptable and that we don't perceive as harmful. It's a disruptive innovation, and our hope is that these labels will create a sense of dissatisfaction. If a community, a province, or even a country sees these labels on a regular basis and asks themselves, well, what can I do about climate change? We will see more people pushing for clean energy, more fuel efficient vehicles, and more accessible public transportation. The only way for our society to shift away from fossil fuels is to have people realize that this is a major problem and create an overwhelming demand for alternatives. Where there is demand, there will be supply. The technology is out there, we just need to collectively ask for it. Otherwise, we will remain in this convenient, stagnant routine of burning fossil fuels until it is too late. To illustrate why our horizon feels this initiative will work, I want to make a quick comparison. Cigarette package warning labels. Since cigarette package warning labels became, became mandatory in Canada in 2001, many studies have reported a difference in attitudes and behaviors when it comes to smoking. Climate change warning labels could change the attitude towards pumping gas from a neutral one to one that makes people think and reconsider their actions. As much as we ignore it, pumping gas is harming our environment. <coughs> Originally, Our Horizon was asking municipalities to pass bylaws requiring warning labels on gas pump nozzles. But many Canadian municipalities did not have the power to do this, and others feel the legal, financial, and political risks. Thankfully, Our Horizon has found an easier way forward. West Vancouver City Council has recently passed a resolution in favour of this project and it, and it will be presented to the Federation of Canadian Municipalities in June of 2016. 
What we are aiming for is that a large number of municipalities across Canada support this resolution before it is presented to the FCM. What I'm asking you to do is support this resolution that Saanich BC has already supported and that Guelph, Dieppe and Halifax are already considering. Just as cigarette package warning labels began in Canada and spread around the world, our Horizons initiative has sparked interest in many other nations. Moncton can be part of a movement that the world may look back on as a revolutionary one. I try to live by something David Suzuki once said at a lecture. If everyone took care of their own backyards, the world would gradually fix itself. This is my way of taking care of my backyard. I'm asking you to formally endorse West Vancouver's resolution to commit to a more sustainable future. Thank you. Haley, uh, first of all, uh, thank you for coming here tonight. That was a, uh, a great presentation. You did a terrific job on that. Thank you for that. Um, I don't know whether there are any other questions or comments of council. I, I see that there are, so if you just stay there for a moment, we may have some questions or other comments for you. And uh, I, I hope uh, someone uh, may have explained to you that by the rules that we have here, we can't make a motion today on this matter here at this time. It's possible, however, for a motion to be made, to be brought forward uh, by another member of council at a, at a future meeting in council. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll see whether uh, that's the case. But uh, I want to uh, thank you again for a, a very informative presentation and uh, you did a terrific job with it. Just uh, hang on if you would. Uh, Councillor uh, Thériault. Merci, Monsieur Maire. Thank you so much for this presentation. It's really inspiring to see young people like yourself come before council with such an interesting and passionate project. Um, it does make sense, and uh, I know that uh, it's something that I could support. So um, we'll we'll find a way to to work around this. Thank, Thank you. you again, and good luck. Thanks. Thank you, Councillor Deputy Mayor Crosby. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you for your presentation. Uh, we've had a few email conversations back and forth, uh, yourself and myself. And, and as you know, uh, the City of Moncton uh, will be attending the FCM meetings in uh, May, June out in uh, BC, or in Edmonton, sorry. And um, if it wasn't for the outdated <coughs> Municipalities Act that New Brunswick has, as you shake your head yes, um, we could probably move this a little bit quicker and, you know, save the environment a little bit quicker, or at least cut down on the abuse to the environment, shall I say. Um, but it's nice to see that you've come before council. Um, your resolution will be looked at by council and, and as the mayor has alluded to, a uh, possibility by a council member to bring it forward. But um, again, this all comes back to tying our hands with the Municipalities Act, as you know, and, and creating bylaws. And, and I'm glad to see that there's a, you know, another city within Canada that has stepped up, shall we say, and, and thought outside. And BC is a beautiful province. And, you know, they take things seriously about the environment. So there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to as well. And uh, I want to appreciate, you know, your support and appreciate your, your presentation was fantastic. Is there any way that we can, or I can get a copy of what you just went through on your slides as well? Because uh, I did not see that earlier. So if you wouldn't mind, just fire that off. Yeah, you do I have my email from the past. So. Yeah, I can email you a few things. Yeah, that's great. And again, uh, congratulations on standing before council. You presented extremely well. and. Hopefully, uh, you know, we can move this forward at the FCM level as well. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Your Worship. Thanks very much for your presentation. And I echo uh, my councillors who are impressed with your presentation. And I think uh, in as much was impressed with the fact that you were willing to come forward a number of weeks ago and address this issue with us. I suppose people could argue that, <clears throat> you know, maybe the science isn't foolproof about about, uh, you know, petroleum products having sort of a, an effet nuisible sur l'environnement. But um, I, uh, I don't fit into that category. I would say, you know, I remember years ago, not too long ago, and everyone here would remember when there was a great movement afoot to eliminate lead fuels from, our, uh, from gas, and that was uh, an important, you know, an important bit of science that came forward, so that was strong. I think more than anything, though, um, I don't know, maybe it was the weekend just passed. I just had my 56th birthday, and I know I don't look a day over 55. But uh, I did have an opportunity a, a week or two ago to meet some other young people on another issue, and I'm going to address that later on in my 
talk, but um, I think in many ways I've had a, a, a little bit of a revelation, and I think people like you that come forward who are really the future for not just this community, but our region and our country, that people like me who are aging, but still uh, I think interested in what's going on around us, I like to take uh, cues from people like you who have an interest, who have an energy, and who have a passion. And so I am more than happy to support this initiative and not unlike my colleagues would be happy to find a way to make this motion come to the floor. And um, I think your point about this is your backyard, municipal governance is about backyards. And as a result, I think uh, I'm quite happy to support uh, this initiative. And I think long term, we need to think about fossil fuels. We can't do it overnight. I've been using them for 56 years. At, there are times I feel guilty about it. There are times I don't have a choice, but here I do have a choice to maybe move the issue forward and, and change the practices that we have towards a, a cleaner environment for people like you that are going to hopefully live a lot longer than I will from now on. So thank you very much. Thank Merci, you. Monsieur le Maire. Thank you. Councillor Arnold. Merci, Monsieur le Maire. Thank you, Haley. That was an excellent presentation. And um, I just would like to echo what my fellow councillors have said to you because it was really terrific to have you here and, to, and for all your patience in getting here because I know it can be a very frustrating process. Um, I'm wondering, though, you were talking about disruptive behaviour. Has, has this organisation given any thought to maybe not going the government route? Have you approached any oil and gas companies? Personally, I think that that would be the most disruptive in innovation if they were to take something like this on themselves. Um, I know that West Vancouver, um, the mayor owns a few gas stations in the region and they've willingly put out these labels already. Um, <coughs> and there are a few um, students from a university nearby who are going to be conducting a study on whether they work or not soon. Um, but other than that, I know that there's a few up, but I don't know of anyone else who's a uh, tried contacting oil and gas industry now. Okay. Well, thank you. This is this will, I think, elicit really interesting conversation, which is where all the great ideas start. So thank you very much for this. Well, Haley, um, you can sense that you've got strong support here in Council. Great job tonight, and uh, thank you for coming. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Bye-bye. Haley, I can just let you know that we'll be, it's just me here, uh, just <laughs> let you know that we'll be circulating this to Council. It sounds like there's support here, so it will like, very likely, we have a mover for the motion already indicated, and we'll put it on the agenda for the 20th. All right. Okay. Thank you very much.